What's up? It's Doug Branson, and we are with the gentlemen and ladies from Squared Circle Pro. It is an organization, wrestling organization, some of you probably know. Uh, it's been away for a couple years here in Lubbock, but it is back. They, uh, they've had their relaunch at uh, Jake's Back Room, uh, and we have the owner, Rick Elsie, here, along with the uh, Knockout Kings. We're, gonna, we're just going to talk a little wrestling. That's, that's all there is to it. And uh, I tell you guys, I'm I'm uh, pretty new to the area. Grew up in Minnesota with the AWA. Um, my earliest uh, memories of wrestling was a gentleman by the name of Baron Von Raschke, who scared the bejesus out of me when I was a young child. Uh, <laughs> the crazy uh, German, uh, you know. And we had Hulk Hogan up there, uh, Mr. Perfect, uh, Ric Flair came out of the AWA or in, in Minneapolis area, but I was always really intrigued with Texas too. I think uh, I, my personal opinion, Texas and pro wrestling are synonymous. Uh, it, it's such a strong area down here. I mean, we've got uh, the legend, Mr. Terry Funk and Dory Funk uh, from Amarillo area. Uh, I got the list of wrestlers that went to West Texas State is is. <laughs> Huge. Tito Santana, uh, uh, Dusty Rhodes, I believe, was there too. Uh, so it's great to see wrestling back where it belongs uh, in Lubbock, in West Texas. And and I want to say thank you to all you guys involved because uh, I know it's a tough industry. It's real tough. And it, it's been a bit a little bit of a downslide here on the national level. But things are picking up on the indie scene. And, and to do it on the Cindy scene, you guys all have to have a love for it. Uh, so we appreciate what you guys do, putting your bodies and, and everything else on the line uh, to come out and entertain the people. So, uh, Rick, uh, let, let's just talk a little bit about Squared Circle Pro. Give us a little background on it. Uh, you know, we've been gone for a couple of years, and, and I know a lot of people still remember it. But, you know, you got a lot of new people in the area, too. So fill us in on what, what this uh, organization's about. Well, Square, uh, thank you, Doug. I appreciate that. Uh, Squared Circle Pro is, is really for the fans. Uh, what we want to do is we want to bring uh, the professional wrestling back to Lubbock, but we want to do it on an indie level. Uh, and we want to, because obviously we don't have, you know, we're not going to be in the big arenas and we, we're not going to have the giant screens and the uh, LED lights and, and pyro, but we're going to uh, bring it back to a personal level. Uh, we want to reach out to uh, the fans who like old school traditional approach where it was uh, competitive matches for championship gold. Um, that's really the way that we're going to move forward with the genre. Um, we're hoping that Lubbock will uh, continue to come out and support our events. Our plan is to do three uh, in this year and then prepare for a full-fledged 2016 relaunch. Fantastic. And and when you say relaunch, you're talking like a once a month show kind of is, is, is that would the be ideal. ideal. That okay. would be ideal. Yeah. If it ends up being bi-monthly or quarterly, that's that's perfectly fine. We're okay. willing to do that. Uh, but we want to give the fans, you know, as much bang for their buck as possible. Now, when we talk on the indie scene, um, there's maybe a little bit of a, a stigma with some people that, oh, there's a bunch of local guys fighting out in their backyard. Now they're, you guys are professionally trained. You're, you're from around the region. Not everybody's right from Lubbock, but from around the region and beyond in some cases. Brought some other gentlemen in too. Uh, and this is the real deal. You guys are the real deal. Um, <coughs> you know, you guys do this uh, for a living, hopefully uh, uh, a lot more, but uh, you've got some real legitimate wrestlers uh, on the car, don't we? Yes. Uh, this is not what is considered a backyard promotion. Um, we're not one of those that you can go on YouTube and uh, see them smashing light tubes over their heads and jumping off their houses. That's not what we do. Um, if you're into that, great, but that's not what the product that we put out. Mm -hmm. um, my uh, roster is trained and they do wrestle in other territories as well, uh, not just for Squared Circle Pro. Mm -hmm. There are people on our, our, our roster who travel all over the country. Uh, in Colorado, there's some people from uh, New York, there's people from New Mexico, there's people from South Texas. Um, there are people from all over and they are professional wrestlers that are trained well and they do know how to entertain. Excellent, excellent. So again, just to put that out of people's head right now, this is 
uh, not some small time, uh, you know, backyard operation. This is the real deal. Yes. And you come out. Uh, it, 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 it sounds like it's a place, too, you can bring younger ones to when, when these matches are going on. Now, it's at a bar. We know that. Uh, and and re it is wrestling. It's got an edge to it. But uh, you guys are into uh, keeping it professional and, and the moves in the ring. I mean, it, it's, it's a little bit of old school, really, isn't it? Yes. And, uh, you know, it is an all-age event. All, all ages, and but we're not going to say that there shouldn't be a little bit of parental advisory, sure. Um, because uh, it is competitive events where individuals can, you know, get heated, and there there are issues, and sometimes things get a little personal, and uh, you know, you you can't control the heat of the moment. Uh, there have been brawls around the building. Uh, there have been, you know, some people who have been uh, injured uh, and, and have bled. Um, and when somebody gets upset, you know, sometimes maybe they uh, don't have the best language about them. But it's 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 that's pretty much with anything. It sounds uh, like a normal TV. Show. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it's it's one of the it's like one of the housewives. Shows. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. it's probably uh, <laughs> it's probably tamer than that. You know, it's, it's a lot more realistic too. Yeah. Yes, and it but you know it is in all ages, and we do encourage. You know, uh, kids to come out because they are going to have a good time. Yep. Um, I would just encourage the parents who bring uh, the younger ones uh, to just exercise some caution and understand that uh, you know it's it's not uh, we're not a G-rated product. Sure. Uh, we're not on Sprout or Nickelodeon. Gotcha. So sure, sure, <laughs> it, it is at a bar. No yeah. your ABCs. Here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's that. That's what we want from from our wrestling. We want a little edge, uh, with you know, without going too crazy with it. I guess you know. Who are the gentlemen you got with us? Well, who I have with me today, I, I have uh, one of our premier tag team combinations, uh, the Knockout Kings, uh, LC Green and Daniel King, and their coach Pierce Price. Uh, they are one of the premier acts uh, with Squared Circle Pro. Very nice. Uh, let's talk Pierce for a little bit. You've you've been doing this for a while, haven't you? You've been running in this industry now for about seven years, going into eight. Yep, excellent, excellent. What got you started? What got you into this? To be honest with you, back in Amarillo, I was running a security for a little organization called West Texas Wrestling mm -hmm. Association, and uh, I was perfectly fine just sitting on the sidelines watching the boys in the ring get down how they do. And then my trainer, uh, Tony Morales, Rick, and our uh, former owner, Tony Eastep, got a hold of me and let me know that I put in enough time and they respected me for what I did for the company and they offered me the ability to train, not necessarily just to hop into shows because you see a lot of guys like, oh, you're training, you're in shows, and that just doesn't work out too no. well. You got some dipstick running around hurting people or hurting them back themselves. Mm -hmm. I put in my time, worked under Tony uh, Morales for quite a bit of time. He taught me pretty much everything from the bottom up, how to, how to rope people, how to how to hurt people, <laughs> how to throw somebody through the air, and how to fly. Mm -hmm. I took what he gave me, and I wanted to impress that on the next generation. Because right now, you got these half-stepping, soft belly guys running around in their underwear, calling themselves wrestlers because they look good. Mm -hmm. You look good all day. Can you take a punch? Do you know how it feels to take this suplex? Can you get back up after being powerbombed? A lot of them can't. A lot of them can't hold water. Can't wrestle their way out of a wet paper bag, but they want to hop in there with the big boys. And that's why I've got these two young men. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of potential held in the Kings right now. A lot of unreleased potential. This will be the debut. Something explosive. Someone, somewhere, at any point in time throughout the night could be hurt, could be sent home. Pick up your bag, put your boots in it. And you're done, son. Everybody's on notice right now. So, introduce the guys. Who we got here? Immediately to my right, we got my boy Daniel King, fresh out of Detroit, Michigan. Detroit, stand up and don't forget it's the handgun. You address me as Daniel, the handgun king. You got that, Doug? The handgun. The handgun. Yeah. And the reason they call me the handgun is because this weapon right here. You see, a lot of people, <coughs> they may need weapons, they may need thumbtacks and all type of glass tubes and things of that order, but all I need is this right hand right here. Because with this right hand, growing up in school, I used to knock people out, and that's when I realized I had the strongest right hand in Detroit, Michigan. And that's how I get by. You see, Doug, I'm a fighter. What I do is I fight. 
It's just different means and different ways you go about it. One of the ways is boxing. I have a boxing background. And with that, I've gotten in the boxing ring and I've trained and I've had my fair share of matches and I've won and I've lost. I've got knocked down, but you can best believe it. I've gotten back up so I can take that punch my trainer's talking about. But then I met Pierce Price and he told me he was trained by Tony Morales. And he instilled in me all of the good things that Tony instilled in him. And he put me in that wrestling ring. So I can guarantee you, Doug, when I get in that wrestling ring, I will step in there with the same dominance and the same force that I stepped in school with to face the bullies, the same force that I got in the boxing ring. And I will dominate me and my partner here, LC. Isn't that right, LC? The most LC Green. Honorary son of a gun that a mother ever bore. LC, so, uh, so what's your background? What are you bringing to the table here? I like to grab people. I like to stretch people. I love the art of professional wrestling. I don't have to swing a chair at you. I can just grab your arm, break it off, and beat you with it. Simple as that. I don't need any kind of outside interference. I've got my mind. I've got my wits. You know, this is an art form. This is a science. It's something that you never master. You just pray that you get 1% better every time you step in the ring. It's something that they talk about passion. They talk about drive. But I've been hit with chairs. I've been hit with chairs in places that my girlfriend looked at me crazy. <laughs> but I got back up. You know, Pierce grabs us. He says, you know what? We have potential. There's something in it for you. You look at me. We, they talk about size. They talk about stature. I'm not this giant guy with muscles. But my heart is my biggest muscle. So I don't care who it is. Come at me. I, fight, I face guys a foot taller than me and still survive. So it's, it's about the, the, the journey. So you guys, you guys come together now as a tag team. It sounds like the ultimate tag team here. We've got a guy who, who's going to wrestle you down. The other guy's going to knock you out. Oh, yeah. There, there are several different flavors of pain. We try to dish out as many as we can, so we want to make sure everybody gets a fair taste. <laughs> and please believe that there are contingencies. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the Knockout Kings, just one of the teams we've got uh, in the Squared Circle Pro. Uh, I have a feeling you guys aren't going to make a lot of friends, though. It's all good. We're not here to make friends. We're here to earn gold and make money, sir. It's all about that prize. My friends are going to pay my bills for me. So I might as well get that money myself, me and my partner here. <laughs> That's right. And over the next three to four, uh, four to, well, the, the, the next six months, uh, Squared Circle Pro fans are going to be introduced to a myriad of tag teams as we move closer to our 2016 tag team tournament. Okay. We have uh, the American Pride. Uh, Joseph Norris uh, wrestles as Phoenix. He is a former Marine. Uh, and Ricky Graves, his young tag team partner. Uh, he is an up-and-comer. Uh, we also have the Rocky Mountain Madmen from Colorado, Ken Cade and Jun Su. Uh, they are two very large, very mean individuals. Um, in, later on in the year, you will also see uh, the Canadian Pit Bulls are, are going to come into oh, Square Circle Pro. Canadian? Uh, you, Canadian Pit Bulls. You uh, know, they're good They're good guys. They're, they're good guys. They're they're, 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 all right. I lived yeah. up by like Canada, so I'm, <laughs> I'm just saying. I've heard a lot of Canada hate. <laughs> I can understand it, Don't get me started. <laughs> I have a feeling you guys hate everybody. Uh, I'm just yeah, saying. General, general summation, yeah. Anybody at any point in time can get punched. Gotcha. I mean, you know, I'm not particularly supposed to be physically active and so forth and so on, but, you know, catch me on the right day, you'll catch a nice right cross. Never see it coming. Are you? I, I, do you get involved with the matches at all? Or are you... Uh, no, no, no. There's no real necessity for me to even be involved okay. in the picture in general because these young men are, well, they are the premier tag team champions. We just don't have the decorations yet. You know what I'm saying? It's like new house, no furnishings. You know what I'm saying? Matter of time, in other words. He's the coach. I mean, do coaches ever get involved? We've never seen coaches throw chairs or choke no. athletes or anything. So he's just going to do his job and just no. coach us and make sure we're doing what we need to do. Rick, are they being straight with me? Well, I hope that they are. I mean, but but here's the, the beautiful thing about Spurred Circle Pro is that I, I'm booking these, these talents to come in and, and showcase their abilities. Now, uh, what they do with the time that and the opportunity that they're given, well, that that's kind of up to them. And, you know, hopefully our, our fans will enjoy it. Now, if, if certain things happen to cross the line and, and everything's not on the up and up, then, you know, I may have to take a look at that as, as the owner and the matchmaker of the promotion. But uh, I 
I am confident that uh, these guys are going to come to the ring and they're going to bring it. Well, I hope uh, you don't have to bring the hammer down very often because <laughs> you're going to need a big hammer, first of all. And and right now, looking at the camera, you're kind of surrounded, so <laughs> you're being... <laughs> you're, you're not in a good situation. That was probably the right answer. <laughs> you're, you're in no situation at this point. Uh, well, I'll tell you what. Say what you want about Knockout Kings. It's going to be entertaining. That's the bottom line right there. Is uh, uh, These guys are extremely entertaining and, and can't wait to see them around here uh, for quite some time uh, as we get things squared away with Square Circle Pro. Yes. So, uh, again, we talked a little bit about the, the immediate future. Uh, hopefully we can get a, a, a facility for you guys, a permanent one here in town. Even if you have to rotate a little bit, but uh, somebody's got to step up. And, and get this done and, and keep uh, keep pro wrestling consistently in Lubbock. Um, have you taken it? Do you go to Amarillo with it? You take uh, now. Is this going to be right here in Lubbock only, or how are you going to run this? We we our intention is to be Lubbock based. Um, I'm not saying that there couldn't be uh, a tour here and there, uh, depending on you know. The opportunities that are available for us. Uh, there is currently a promotion running in Amarillo. There is a promotion running in Odessa Midland. Mm -hmm. um, ideally, you don't really go into somebody gotcha. else's territory. Territories, yeah. Um, but yep. at the same time, you know, if, if there's uh, wrestling to be had and there's a fan base that's clamoring for it, it's not completely out of the off, off the table. I, you could send the Knockout Kings over. <laughs> Down, down, down south or north to you know, straight, straighten things out a little bit. If they need a little convincing, you know what I mean? Twist some arms. Twist some arms. Break some arms. You break some arms. Break whatever. You know what I mean? So Absolutely. <laughs> well, it's good for everybody. I, you know, it, it's we, we were talking on the air about uh, the old days of WCW and WWF. I mean, that was great for everybody. More competition, uh, I think, is that everybody rises up. And, and uh, there's truth to that. You yes. know, um, if one promotion is doing well, that helps all of them. It, the whole industry is really a family in a way. Oh, uh, well, yes. I mean, no, nobody wants to be on the losing end. Yeah. Uh, so if somebody is doing really well, uh, it's it's a good idea to try and step up your game. Uh, and so competition does make usually for a, a good period of business. Uh, it's just a, a matter of digging your heels in and getting a footing as far as uh, finding your fan base, finding your niche, and, and seeing you know, what product you can get out. Yeah. How uh, how do people find you? Are you on Facebook, right? We do have a Facebook, okay. uh, Squared Circle Pro. Uh, we also have a Twitter. Uh, okay. It's all Squared Circle Pro. Uh, they can find us there. We don't have a traditional website, um, but we are available through streaming media. Uh, so our fans have been known to uh, put things on YouTube. Uh, so I mean, we are. You can put in Squared Circle Pro on YouTube, and you can see some matches from our previous events. Excellent. Um, but yeah, it's uh, right now Facebook and Twitter would be the ways to contact us, follow us. Cool. Excellent. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Best of luck, and we will be talking again soon. Thank well, you very much, uh, Doug. I'm guessing next time we talk to Knockout Kings, there will be a little more gold involved. Oh, yeah. That's very possible. Let, let me tell you something, Doug. You see, I don't care about a belt. I don't care about what the fans have to think, and I really don't care about what you have to say. The fact of the moment is, it's all about that money. You pay me, I will break a face. Every coin that you give me, that's a face that's going to get broken, Doug. And that's all that matters. It doesn't matter if we have gold. It does not matter if we're loved by the fans. It doesn't matter what you think, and it never will. The only thing that matters is this right hand and what I'm going to do with it, and you remember that. Well, with that, I think we'll wrap this up because I'm I'm actually frightened now. <laughs> it's probably a good idea, Doug. The pleasure's all yours, Doug. Thank you, guys. Thank you.